Hi there, I'm Maxim Luft and today I'm excited to present Iconic Violin, which is our solo violin designed for the free contact player. With an innovative user interface, 21 versatile playing techniques, including short and long articulations as well as pre-recorded dynamics, we made Iconic Violin to unify simplicity and exceptional sound quality. But enough talking, let's dive right into the library starting with the sustains in legato mode. Also, we have a vibrato control that is linked to MIDI CC2, and with it you can trigger either vibrato or non-vibrato sustains. Now, just before showing how it changes the sound, let's switch off the legato mode to play some chords. Now, you may have noticed that we recorded several attack variations which are controlled by the velocity on your keyboard, so depending on how hard you hit a note, you will either get a soft, regular or accentuated attack, and for the vibrato samples we even have a unique crescendo attack which is great for slowly evolving sustains. So, before we move on to the short notes, I want to highlight that we offer three different legato techniques, regular and fast legato, as well as portamento. You can adjust the velocity for each legato technique in the advanced settings. And here's another example of how the legato sounds straight out of the box. Now let's move on to the spiccatissimos, the second articulation in our palette. I think it's a great articulation to show how the different microphone positions sound like, so let me just improvise something and I will shape the sound in real time. Additional controls also include these panning knobs on top of the microphone positions, as well as custom audio routing by simply clicking on the name of each mic position. An interesting feature is also by going into the advanced settings, where you can play with the size of the room by modifying the amount of release tiles. So as you can hear, it's nearly as if we didn't record this violin in a church at all. So this gives some freedom if you're, for instance, used to a specific external reverb. Now let me show you an example of this artificial reverb that we've included in the library. So now let's come back to the original sound of Iconic Violin and take a listen to the next articulation, the Spiccatos.
So as you can tell, the spiccatas are slightly longer and not as tight as the spiccatissimos, but they offer a bit more weight to each note. By the way, in the advanced settings, you can also see which run robin is currently being played, and you can also deactivate specific run robins if you like. Now let's move on to the staccatos. We have our pizzicatos. And for those who are looking for Bartok pizzicatos, we've included them as well. They are mapped to the highest velocities. Now let's move forward with our marcados. So this patch combines spiccatos, spiccatissimos and all our various sustains, which makes it possible to play both short and long notes without the need for any key switches. This patch uses a combination of velocity and mod wheel. So velocity controls the attack and the mod wheel sets the intensity for sustained notes. Here as well, you can activate the legados, which then sounds like this. Here I quickly want to show you how to patch individual articulations to save some memory. So you simply go here into the advanced tab and the patch button will appear on top of each square. You can also patch the legados if you like by clicking right here. Now let's move on to tremolo, our next articulation. Let's move on to Consordino. Now here we have emulated a Consordino legato using our original legato recordings, which makes it possible to play melodic lines here as well. Our next stop, Trill Minor. And it's a great place to give an example of how the engine bridges ongoing legato phrases seamlessly between different articulations. So to make this possible, we took our original legato recordings and adjusted them so as to match with each sustained articulation. Now we have the delicate sounding Sul Tasto. Now even more delicate and even softer sounding Flautando. Our harmonics. Now, as you can see on the keyboard, the range is smaller compared to the other articulations, but right here you can extend the range by stretching the lower and upper limits up to one octave. Now on to our next articulation, tremolo sul ponte. Let's move forward with a sustained sol ponticello.
It has this sort of edgy sound to it, which is very specific to this playing technique. Now let's move on to our pre-recorded dynamics. So we have a variety of swells, crescendos and sforzanos, where we basically recorded the evolution of the dynamics. Now let's listen to the short swells. There I can activate the legato mode as well. The short swell will now serve as the first note of our melodic phrase. And this definitely can help make the performance sound even more expressive. Now let's move on to swell long. We have crescendo short. Now also crescendo long. And now the specials for Zano crescendos with short and long variations. So I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. If you have any more questions, please write them in the comments below. Now we look forward to the music you will create with Iconic Violin and are sure it will inspire your creativity. So thank you for joining us today and see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>